Hi guys, Dorota Polska International New Artists and Educator here again and today I'm in with Fiona so those nails are nicely prepped and we are going to do a beautiful bling bling set um, you can see on my channel if this is the first of the videos you are watching so you can see on my channel uh, lots of tutorials how to sculpt the nails how to do the gel rebalance so I didn't want to uh, do it you can just watch them and on this set we are going to apply some beautiful chrome pigment and for a chrome pigments I'm using the high shine no wipe top gel it is a top coat with no inhibition layer so this way we get a really nice chromey nails when we applying the chrome nails it is very important that you do check how the light is reflecting on your top coat if the top coat having uh, bits and pieces of the dust or if the top coat is applied uneven this is going to show on your chromes like really extremely uh, enlarged so I'm always very careful like um, when I'm applying the top coat for a chrome application if I could give you a best advice it's like you could even ask your clients to wash their hands you could wipe your desk away from any kind of dust you've got in there and even change the gloves uh, so the dust particles don't land on your top coat because they will be like on double size once we apply the chrome okay so i'm really fussy about my top coat application this is where your good chrome look starts and the chromes only sticks into the top coat with no inhibition layers so they are called a dry top coat or no wipe top coats um, but the main the main thing about them is like once they cure they have no sticky layer no inhibition layer and this chrome sticks in really well to that now I've got a piece of hair or something in there clean it out you could see how much dust came out from my gloves and then apply it on the thumb so there is lots of tutorials as I say on how to sculpt the nails how to do the gel rebalance so th these nails have been rebalanced so I have only uh, filed away the old color and apply a fresh color a fresh gel on them to make them nice again click it inside now when we have applied the top coat I'm just going to clean the dust again when we have applied the top coat it is important that we've got the correct curing time as well for the chrome to stick in and I'm curing in a LED light like and it is curing for a 60 seconds my top coat to give me a really nice and shiny chrome and then I show you what else you have to do so it looks nice and pretty okay get rid of those dust I'm actually quite excited about this set because you guys know like I love the bling bling nails so so this is going to look super cool I only got the dilemma and I'm not sure do I want to use the Aurora pigment or I want to use the glamour pigment so this is my biggest idea like dilemma on what I want to do and I might go maybe for both of them why not <laughs> they both really beautiful pigments and the glamour is from the indigo and the aurora pa pa uh, pigment is from the born pretty change okay so I will just grab my glove off for these two fingers we are going to apply the glamour so that's an indigo glamour it's called glamour silver they've got glamour gold and glamour silver and my nails are so long that I'm always putting the chrome in the lid so it has this color like and then we are going to wrap this pigment in oh my gosh look at this it's so beautiful 
absolutely amazing color so this one is called a glamour silver from the indigo and you can see what a beautiful effect it is actually giving it to the to the nails wow i love it this one is so nice okay just rub it in now it is very important when we're working with the chromes that we rub them really well as you can see it the longer i am rubbing the pigment the shinier it becomes because they are some very small particles and if you move these particles on top of your chrome they are going to show really badly into the nails and you really don't want that okay so always rub that in and then aurora pigment it has this kind of multicolor shift of it and we are going to apply it on the rest of the nails so aurora pigment and it looks so stunning on this color of the nails as well so i have uh, sculpted the nails with the fiber gel and light rose i might show you that guys as well so we have used the light rose fiber gel for this set but as i say if you if this is a first video you are watching with me just go and uh, check it, it out how to sculpt the nails i don't know which one i prefer it which one you like better this one, the Aurora, okay, but uh, because we are putting Swarovski crystals oh, yeah. on top of it, AB, I thought this one yeah. will look really, yeah. really nice as well. I'm not sure which one I'm preferring, oh. but I had both on my nails, yeah. like, and I like them really, uh, both quite a lot. Okay, so I'm just rubbing those pigment really, really well. Okay, rub it really well. I can also guys show you as well like I've got like a silicone tool and which is fab like to removing the excess of the pigment around the cuticle area okay so you can remove the excess of the pigment our next step for the chromes to last and I do it with any kind of chrome take a file and scratch the free edge of the nail if you don't do that the top coat is going to stick into the chrome and if there is any loose places and um, the the chrome is going to pull the top coat away so you really guys don't want that like the scratching is really important then remove the excess of the pigment and the brushes i'm using is they are facial brush and they really great because they are so smooth and um, fantastic absolutely fantastic for uh, for the chrome application okay now just to speed up on those two nails i'm going to apply the top coat because we need to buff them to stick the crystals and i show and i tell you the reason in a minute okay so apply the top coat over them nice decent amount of the top coat change and then these hands are ready as well so we are applying the glamour silver silver glamour and you know what i really love about those pigments as well like you had last year you know those um, blue set which we have done oh, blue yes, and yes, whites yes. and wintery yes. sets it looks so stunning guys yes. on the blue color it looks stunning on purple like so on any kind of color it is going just to give those shifts of um, sparkle like a chromey look to it and i just love it like I think it looks fantastic. Now on this we are putting the Aurora pigment. Okay, rub this really well. And I'm actually jealous like because I, I love this uh, pigments on my nails. So you have to do lots of motions of your finger, like lots of lots of lots of motion. Make sure your finger is clean, it's not sticky. Because uh, if you've got like any dirt or any stickiness, your chrome application isn't going to be nice. Okay, so I'm keep rubbing, clean my fingers a little bit and then keep massaging even more. And you can see how much shinier it starts to look. Okay, so bathing like almost, I don't know, like rubbing it in like that's probably the best word for that. Then the tool to remove the excess around the cuticle area. So this way, like with the finger, is very hard to reach and uh, those places. So just remove that. Perfect. Scratch the free edge. So scratch, scratch, scratch. 
scratch 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 if you've got any questions regarding this set just leave them down in the comments below or any other questions because i read them all and then i can uh, produce the video related to that okay remove it you have to watch it some pigments like uh, some brushes are too rough for the removing of the pigments and you could create the scratches so really watch for that now i'm taking my pigments away you don't want any accidents to happen and we are applying the top coat on our two finger where we're going to stick in lots of bling okay so decent amount of the top coat cap the free edge really nice especially on the other nails okay perfect change so now i didn't top coated this nails yet only those two nails are top coated i'm taking my buffer and i'm giving scratches what I could do is I could put the base gel straight away on top of the chrome, but imagine you do some mistake or your crystal move and then you're ruining your chrome. So I have protected it with the top coat and now because the gel doesn't stick into the shiny surface, I'm giving a couple scratches so I can nicely apply my crystals and then I will top coat it again so they are nice and shiny. Okay, I didn't want to take a risk and do it straight away with the base so I've got this all ready and I've got my Swarovski crystals box in here so lots of different bling and we are going to use the uh, soak of base gel and I find the crystals applied this well this way are absolutely staying amazing like no bother at all you could also see me tutorial doing like those really large crystals and they still on and I've got this set for a while now really big while now I want to do some kind of compositions with this with the snails so very simple and elegant set but uh, he doesn't love the crystals and I'm starting with the small ones so I'm just going to apply a couple of the small crystals at the top and the AB ones are just fantastic for this set that's why I wanted to use the slightly different color of the chrome on those two uh, on those two nails so the crystals are playing a first how you say it are on the first they are catching the eye more than the from. <laughs> okay, awesome. And another one, let's try. If it would be my set, I would use this one. This is so beautiful one. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. So I'm applying a bit, drop more of the base. Drop more of the base. Now, Fiona will need to help me. Keep your fingers nice mm -hmm. and straight nice and straight perfect concentration is it nice and straight nice and straight perfect change your hands don't move the crystals awesome <laughs> So uh, placing such as large crystals is pretty challenging because they can move a little bit uh, during the application. So you have to make sure they are in a good uh, position before you cure them. And what I'm always doing is I'm putting a couple crystals on, flash cure it, and then keep swapping the hands. So this way I've got a better chance of making the crystals uh, don't move, okay? So a decent amount of the base gel. Because what it does then, the, the gels, the crystals kind of almost, uh, the base almost goes around the crystals and hold them absolutely perfect with no trouble. Okay, get them nice into the position. And a stunning. I love this large one. It's so amazing. OK, 
Okay, let me check them. Perfect change. <laughs> okay, again, I'm using the old brush to pick up a tiny bit of the base gel. Couple more crystals in. And when I'm applying a large crystals, like I want the small crystals to go around it. If we place some small crystals around it, they will create a really beautiful transition. So the crystals are not going to be as catchy and they've got a better chance of lasting like pretty well. Okay. So really, I suggest guys, you use this technique and I'm missing one more. And the shape of the crystals, you can do anything you really fancy. Uh, what I'm usually doing is like placing those large crystals. And then once I've got this large crystal, I decide what else I want um, to have around it. Or um, I can see it as well, like what I want to create it. Perfect change. So a couple crystals in and another one. So... And also this uh, base, which are, we are putting around it, there is an empty space underneath of the snail. So it goes underneath of that as well. And this way I can really, really nicely um, secure the crystal. Okay, go around it. And you want to also shake your um, pots with the crystals. If you do shake it, then they turn into the right uh, direction and it's easier and much quicker to pick them up. Okay, so I'm always shaking my pot, like do a couple crystals and then I will shake my pot. I've got four, 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 five. I can place them now. Okay, so just before I'm giving the cure, I'm just checking. Change. do the same in here so place this top coat underneath of the crystal like you really want this crystal to be strongly secure shake your pot and we've got two three four sunshine is coming <laughs> there was such a beautiful uh, rainbow before this set is actually looking like, because of the crystals, it's looking through all the different... Yeah. I know you love your bling. <laughs> <laughs> and then another one. Okay, check them if you're happy. Yeah, Cook it, change. Okay, do the same on this one. So, top coat underneath. Not the top coat, sorry, base gel. I bought it base gel. And then I'm applying the crystals. Actually, the crystals application is a pretty time consuming process. Like, I mean, if you've got a full set of the crystals to go on, like, I sometimes take even three hours for my crystals <laughs> <laughs> to apply on, like, full. But that is like, you know, 100 crystals on <laughs> per nail, like all the nail is covered with the crystals. There is no empty space almost. <laughs> awesome change. <laughs> okay, now again, old brush. And I want to do a strip right down to the end of this nail. And then I show you what to do with the end crystals, because that's the crystals which are more likely to come off. Okay, so nice and straight line. Again, shake the pot. I 
I'm always also checking the mm, with the length of the needle like you don't want the crystal which is sticking out too much from the end of the needle okay now I'm checking how they look perfect change so very important one is like you need to almost space your crystals before you uh, decide how many you want to apply it like if the crystals will stick out too much at the end you want to spread them out more and put one crystal less you don't want any crystal to stick out from the needle it's better to have like a one millimeter gap empty with no crystal than a crystal which is sticking out because if the crystal is sticking out it's definitely going to come off so i show you like see this is unacceptable like this crystal is sticking out you cannot leave it so i need to move my crystals a little bit higher up and if this crystal is not going to squeeze in enough then i would have to remove one crystal and spread them out but i managed to squeeze it in get it into the line And the last line, so a couple more. As I say, if there is anything uh, else you would like to see on this channel, let me know down in the comments below because I will be uh, then looking into those comments and produce uh, another videos with a different request. There was a pretty few good ones like how to hold the files and the things like that. So I have already recorded this video guys for you show me them show me show me show me awesome change perfect so once a crystal once our crystal application is ready i can put my gems on the side you always want to be careful with the gems and now we are going to apply the high shine no wipe top gel so high shine no wipe top gel like a really decent amount and now those needles need to be extremely well capped free edge okay cap the free edge really properly cap the free edge really properly and by the free edge i mean the sides as well okay this is a free edge as well and the top coat you need to apply it at pretty decent apply the top coat on this one And if this is your first tutorial, check the previous ones, how to sculpt the needles, how to do the gel rebalance as well. Change. So I'm just doing exactly the same on this one. This is so nice color. Fiona was desperate for a blink blink set. <laughs> I think after the last one I had it full of crystals, isn't it? Yeah. When I was doing your nails. <laughs> you can do us like, oh, they're so nice. But Fiona always likes her bling. Mm -hmm. Okay, cap. look how my brush is splitting, how harder I'm pressing at the free edge just to make sure it is nicely capped. Perfect change. And now we've got to top coat those nails. So very close to the crystals. Cap the free edge. And on the last crystal, no one is going to see it. I'm applying a little bit top coat around it, especially at the edge and plenty of top coat here. Okay, you really want to make sure this crystal is not going to come off. Just relax it. Perfect. Top coat, top coat, top coat. You don't want to apply the top coat on top of the crystals because then there was no point to apply the crystals. Like they will lose their cuts and they will lose their shine. They are not as nice when the top coat is over them. So this needle is finished and we are doing the same. If you struggle to work with your thick brush from the bottle, just grab a small brush and you would go around with the smaller brush around those crystals. I'm just twisting and playing with my big brush. 
shake 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 the hands like look what I'm doing I really want this top coat to get in between every single crystals in between every single crystal top coat even the last one no one is going to see it it has the top coat because it's only on the one crystal but this way you are going to secure it extremely well change your hands and I'm going to do it just on the same one then clean Fiona's hands and show you the final results I love taking a thumbnail pictures with her because she's got so photogenic hands actually and she knows how to place them as well uh, so my job on taking those pictures is so so easy and they always look really beautiful so you will be able to see it on really nice thumbnail picture now you can see this nail is a bit rounded so what i'm doing another tip for you for those who watch it to the end put a little bit more top coat freeze like flash oh. yeah perfect and this way i have kind of added a little bit more straight look to the nail which was a bit curved so um you can always fix the shape a little bit like maybe not fix i would say it you can perfect the shape with your top coat and i do it it really often like i would place maybe a uh, larger amount of the top coat in some places just to make the fact perfect i take they i take the top one <laughs> awesome thank you so much and this way this nail look much better so and I had to freeze it because it was a bigger amount of the product. You want to like apply it and straight away you want to put the um, to the lamp just so the product doesn't run. Okay. And then I show you the final results. So this hand is all finished, it just needs to cook, change your hands. Wait a couple seconds for the nails to cool down uh, before you clean them. And then we can just clean all the hand and apply the cuticle oil. You can see it how nice and beautiful bling is set it is. I love the bling. Yeah, it looks so nice. I will be like sitting like this now and playing with these nails. And Fiona probably the same, like going home. Anyway, you always have to wait a couple seconds for your top coat to cool down before you touch it with uh, any cuticle oil or any other um, things uh, because you don't want to make it a dull, okay? So if the gel is warm, it can become dull. If the gel managed to cool down, then it's much shinier, okay? And the crystals, I show you uh, what else I'm doing with the crystals. So you can see the difference already, like how this nail look and how ugly is this one. So I'm cleaning everything nice. And then... I would apply the cuticle oil so you don't want to put too much cuticle oil just a little bit of the cuticle oil like the cuticles looks pretty nice on them own like they don't need lots of cuticle oil because then it looks very ugly on the pictures very ugly and then i'm taking a wipe because some of the crystals are having a little bit of wax and i'm kind of making them shinier okay i remove any excess of the of the wax and that's the set finish so i hope you have guys really enjoyed watching this tutorial glittery hugs and bye for now <laughs>